You may have heard of internet addiction disorder, but what you may not know is the whole idea of IAD started out as a joke. Although it has fictitious beginnings, to some the disorder seems very real. The first time I went online, it was such a rush. It was like the whole world was at my command. All that information, all that stimulation. Little did I realize it was going to get out of control. Before I knew it, I was hooked. I was suffering from internet addiction disorder. Internet addiction disorder, or IAD, has received a lot of media attention recently. As internet use continues to grow, we are learning about people whose lives have been harmed by excessive internet use. This is Johnny's story. All my friends were doing it. They were pressuring me to try it. I felt like such a dweeb, you know, the only guy in the neighborhood who wasn't online. Well, at first, it wasn't a problem. I surfed around, checked out a bunch of sites, opened up an email account, you know, like stuff. No problem, right? Well, then I got into the real heavy stuff. I discovered chat rooms, multiple user dungeons. It started to change my whole life. I'm gonna lose my job. My girlfriend left me, my dog wouldn't even look at me. People talk about addicts having a monkey on their backs. Well, I got a mouse on my back. While this problem doesn't top the Surgeon General's list, the healthcare community has begun to respond. Healthcare professionals like Dr. Marissa Orzak have founded clinics to help people suffering from internet addiction. Well, there were two things going on. One is I began to notice it in my patients, and the other is I noticed it in myself. Well, I've seen guys spending like $10 every day. <laughs> I use it a lot, and I'll stay up late, later than I should, and I'll be tired the next morning because I stayed on the internet too late. And I noticed that I was playing games more times and losing sleep. I've had to tell myself, it's time to get out of this thing because you could just sit on that thing for hours because there's so much to do on it. Other symptoms are people who get more irritable. And what do you think the characteristics of being uh, addicted to online would be? Uh, probably not going out on weekend nights. You can get caught up in it and just go further and further and further, keep looking for what you're trying to find. Do you know people like that? Um, I have one, I wouldn't call it an addiction, but it's getting there. Yeah. A friend of yours? Yes. Are you going to step in and help them? No. Why not? Because <laughs> he gets a little agitated when you come around him on the computer. In fact, the first mention of internet addiction disorder was meant as a joke. In 1995, psychologist Ivan Goldberg published an article listing the symptoms of internet addiction that parodied the classic diagnostic criteria for addiction. Dr. Goldberg was besieged by the media for interviews and by people wanting to join his support group. He posted it as a joke. And a lot of people started to see it and then realized, hey, this is something that really does happen. I think it can be very addictive. I mean, I have had friends who just sort of sit on the web and do nothing else. I've always been fascinated by, uh, you know, why people spend so much time on it. Why do you think it is? Avoiding reality. What happens is many people don't have a sense of who they are and they can assume any identity they want to. The Internet's reaction to this issue is split between sites that try to offer help and sites that poke fun at Internet addiction. Would you have any advice for people you think might be addicted to the Internet? Um, find an outdoor hobby. Go out biking and, you know, go, uh, go on wild weekends with your friends, you know, dance on tables. Take breaks whenever possible. Make sure that you're only doing things for a, for a specific goal. If you go and surf the net, make sure that you know what you're looking for and that you're reaching it. Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about internet addiction disorder, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but come to our website, getwild.com. But please, if you think you have IAD, just log on and then log off right away because we don't want to contribute to your problem. That's right. Remember, even online, all things in moderation.